But my last one, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's personal, because what I don't want to do is the other young man waiting to discourage them. And I don't want to do that, because, but I want to give my opinion that Sterling Sharp, to me, now this is my opinion, he caught a hundred balls when it was hard. Okay, now, because my fantasy league started from this week, I, I'm taking Cooper Cup, by the way. <laughs> Everybody catches a hundred yards. Everybody catches 147, 150, thank you, Cooper. I love all of those numbers, but Sterling Sharp was one of the first to catch, and people doubled him. So, and I will concur with Coach with Torrey Holt, probably the second, makes the best second move that any receiver I've ever seen in my life. So he, both of these guys will get in, but if, I, if Sterling can one day get in, it'd be great, and the last one would be a coach, other than home would be Mike Shanahan. When Mike Shanahan- No question, no question. If they ever donate somebody to the Smithsonian, it'll be the smartest guy in the world, it'll be Mike Shanahan. <laughs> I'm not just saying that because he said that the only way they won Super Bowl 32 was to take me out of the box. <laughs> but it helps. <laughs> Mike Shanahan will be a Hall of Famer. Yes. Yeah, that he thinks. Yeah. Hey, can I say yeah. something one thing about uh, Sterling? Because it's actually, it is a little personal to me because he had a similar career right. to me. And the whole thing that was debated about my career was I got hurt and it was short. And, uh, and I always remember, and I'm sure, it's similar to Sterling, you know, I want to say some people would always say you were the greatest during your year, or right after you know, all pro, all that. Um, and you would be no problem, no doubt of it if you had a long career. And I always remember saying well, it was the Hall of Fame for the greatest of all time or the longest of all time. And now it can be both. I'm not saying it's either. Or. And I know this, the Sterling Sharp when he played, it was him and Jerry Rice. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there was, I mean, it was Sterling Sharp and Jerry Rice for about five years. And you go look at the numbers, and it wasn't like nothing against the quarterback situation, Green Bay at the time, but he wasn't playing with Joe Montana. And he wasn't playing on great teams with a bunch of other people to take pressure off of him, like you said. And I remember watching Sterling Sharp um, before I got in the NFL, and there was no better receiver in the NFL. And I'm with Leroy. If you want to know the best players who ever played this game, I don't care how long it was for, Sterling Sharp was one of the best guys who's ever played the game of football. And he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame.